gençler için değil daima gençlerle Gençlerle. birlikte neler yapabiliriz bireyler kurumlar olarak. Gelecek çünkü sürdürülebilirlikten geçiyor. Daha yenilikçi ve daha etkin sivil toplum kuruluşlarına ihtiyaç duyduğumuz bir dünyadayız. The use of actually physical space as well as digital platforms in, in enabling us to create impact. Biz tüm paydaşları masada istiyoruz gençler olarak. It matters that we are closely working with young people. So we are listening them, we are hearing them and we are working with them, not for them. This is actually our motto. Yerel katılımcı. Bizim açımızdan baktığı zaman katılımcılık çok önemli. Bu şeffaflığı ve hesap verebilirliği de aslında içinde barındırıyor. There's not a whole lot of questioning happening on behalf of the young people except, you know, why can't we support more of them? A lot of the people Uh, well, especially adults, um, they do think that they know the answer to problems. And so the voices of young people are therefore ignored or sidelined. We do need the um, creativity and the innovative mindset of young people. People, they are not only the consumer of public services, but they are also co-creators. We are providing support or we are in encouraging social innovation. The first is really about trusting in community expertise. Again, this is about understanding and believing that those that are closest to the challenges have the most context and knowledge and ability to get to great sustainable solutions for them. While Turkey has relatively developed financial markets, there are still many opportunities to generate social and environmental impact to alleviate the development challenges observed in the region. Communities are not stagnant, they're always changing and they're always getting the energy of the individuals that make part of it. And that's what's really beautiful and powerful about them. But I wonder whether these two things, so one is the innovation patterns, research and development, and two is the EU and Turkey. Is there a space to be able to work together and, and maybe Imece could play a role in organizing some sharing of know-how, innovation across the EU and Turkey? Because this is a very important agenda. Whatever happens between Turkey and the EU in the, in the years to come is a very fruitful area of cooperation. Uh, philanthropy is going to shape societies and I think indeed society is going to shape philanthropy. It's very much a, a two-way process now. And that's one of the things that the B corporations have done really well, is they've banded together for collective action. Core principles are really what are at the core of successful networks and leadership in networks and social impact work. A focus on the mission, even for the organization, focus on trust rather than control, is an emphasis on the norm of humility rather than self-promotion, building constellations rather than being the brightest star. And, and maybe conclude, at the time of a world living as planets uh, of cities, it's a planet of cities now, it is the golden opportunity in the next 10 years to shape the future of our planet because it's the first time cities have a shaping responsible because of their masses and GDP and capacity. Sustainable development goals. Now we're at the stage of our decade of action because the remaining 10 years will prove that what we agreed to do commonly is reachable. And that means that to find the solutions together, to source the right solutions, we really need to work on collaborating together. And that means from business to government, to academicians, to students, everyone. Be a rebel, disturb the present, listen properly, and do that with the networks and communities. Take all of the perspectives, listen to more carefully, and act on them. Yapılacak çok iş var. Sürdürülebilir kalkınma amaçlarının 17. maddesi radikal işbirlikleri. Çok diliyorum ki yapılan dünya için iyi olanı yapma yolculuğunda yollarımız farklı yerlerde tekrar ve tekrar kesilsin. Çok ilham veren, gerçekten müthiş hikayeler dinledik. Biz de onlardan ilham aldık. Görüşmek üzere diyoruz. Şimdilik hoşçakalın.